Quite the opposite. I think what people are looking for is a timetable, a plan, uh, a mechanism for delivery, and a clear idea of what would happen after a no vote. And I think the issue in this referendum is now very clear. It's not between separation that is irreversible and the status quo. It's actually between voting for separation or voting for a stronger parliament. And I wanted to make it clear this evening that not only do we have the powers uh, agreed in the Labour Party, but I think other parties will support them. Except that you've got to get all three parties to agree to that. So it's not surprising that voters are a bit sceptical that that will happen, especially when your plans, for example, for uh, returning income tax powers to the Scottish people, are much more cautious than the Tories or the Lib Dems. Yeah, but when you look at the, uh, the balance uh, uh, and, and what people are saying, on the 12 points that I'm making this evening, where there is, in my view, something very close to agreement, uh, you're talking about extensive powers for social affairs, for economic affairs, for the environment, uh, for infrastructure, for investment uh, and for fiscal policy. And I think there is the basis uh, of an agreement where all the different parties uh, can find a way forward. It's a sign of panic though, isn't it? I mean, let me, let me put this to you. The no campaign is narrow, negative, patronising, lacking emotion, passion and soul. It's not me saying that, but Henry MacLeish, Labour's former Scottish First Minister. Come to our meeting tonight. I mean, I've been addressing meetings all over the country, and I think it is the opposite. What people are looking for and are seeing from the meetings I've been doing is a positive case for Scotland being part of the United Kingdom. You see, there are two visions of the future. One is the nationalist vision, which requires you to break all links with the rest of the United Kingdom constitutionally, and so you wouldn't have UK pensions or UK funded healthcare or UK defence. The other is what I call the patriotic vision. Now, that's recognising that Scots feel strongly about their identity strongly about the independence of their institutions, want a stronger Scottish Parliament, but they also want to share and cooperate as part of the United Kingdom. How did the Labour-led campaign manage to squander a 22-point lead, though? I think what people want is change. What we're seeing in the opinion polls, you know, is people want change. They want, uh, they're unhappy, they're discontented, uh, they don't like some of the policies that they're having to live under. Now the debate... So the it's the Tories' fault, Well, it? now in the debate in the next two weeks uh, is about what kind of change. So there's the wrong kind of change in my view, irreversible, no going back, separation, debt default as a possibility under a Scottish National Party government, as well as problems over the currency, as we're seeing today. On the other hand, you can have the certainty of a parliament with more powers, delivered quickly, on a timetable, dealing with some of the social and economic issues that people have raised, but you can stay part of the United Kingdom. Now, but once people to... see that positive vision, okay. I think they're going to support it. You're trying to blame the Tories there, but the fact is Tories have convinced 93% of their supporters to back uh, the No campaign. You haven't, have the, you? The Labour, Tories, 35% of Labour Tories, voters back the Yes campaign. The That's by... double what it was a month ago. Sorry, look, the Tories have got very few supporters in Scotland, so whatever percentage it is, it's a percentage of a little number. And I actually don't want, okay, to, but I don't want to make supporters. party political points this 35% evening. 35% of Labour to... voters are backing the Yes vote, OK? That's no, double what it was no, a month ago. No, well, no, that was what the poll you, said at the weekend. You've got one opinion poll here. I talk to Labour voters. I represent a large majority of, of Labour voters. I understand that people want change. They may feel that if the UK government is not going to deliver certain things, that the only alternative open to them might have been to go for independence. Now they can see that there is a positive, concrete, deliverable, immediate alternative, a Scottish Parliament with stronger powers, but equally a timetable that delivers it quickly. Now, we are talking about a big change in the British Constitution. It's like home rule within the United Kingdom. We're moving quite close, in my view, uh, to something uh, near to federalism uh, in a country where 85% of the population is of one nation and therefore it's never going to be a, a perfect kind of arrangement. So change is in the air and change is coming. The important thing to recognise is that the right kind of change is a Scottish Parliament with powers within the United Kingdom which I believe that people are going to support next Thursday. You've made only sporadic appearances in this campaign. Uh, are you, do you think you can swing it? You're the star turn for Labour? Do you think uh, you can no, I turn don't think around? I'm the star turn in anything. And I don't claim to be the person who's speaking for the, for the Labour Party. That's Ed Miliband <laughs> and that's Joanne Lamont, who's doing an excellent job, like Ed, in Scotland. And they are the people speaking for the Labour Party. But, you know, I've entered this debate for only one reason. Uh, I've got young children and I see that the future that is being decided in this uh, referendum is for times 10, 20, 50, 100 years ahead. We're not making a decision as voters about ourselves. We're making a decision that's irreversible about our children. And I'm th thinking of the children of Scotland and then future generations of children. 
And we've got to think about this because it's irreversible as something that is more important than an ordinary voting decision in one single election. Would now, it, that's why I'm entering this debate. Uh, otherwise, I would be uh, uh, not in frontline politics.